Hi everyone, I'm Will. This is Will the Artist. And today we're going to talk about making a track. Uh, people have a lot of names for it. Making a beat, making a groove, whatever it is. Uh, whatever you want to call it, that's what we're doing. So uh, dive in. This is actually the track you're listening to right now. Is going to be the final product. So I'm going to show you how to make this track, make this groove. Um, step by step how I did it. Um, you don't have to do it this way. I'm just showing you my process. So come on in. When you open up your Logic project, odds are it's going to look like this. It's going to ask you to choose a track type. You just kind of pick either an audio or an instrument, whether whichever one you're going to start with. I already have a ton loaded up here on my template. Um, it's good to make templates because then you don't have to start over every time. I've found that to be really helpful. I have my templates with all my microphones going in because I have eight inputs on my mics. So this is what, this is input one through input eight right here, down from one to eighteen. Um, everything above that, in, shown in green, is a software instrument. The computer's playing these instruments. I'll show you what I mean in a second. So what we're going to do here is find a drum track. So basically, we're going to sample some drum beats. Let's see. What do I want to work with? Um, I usually I kind of like this dry room sound. That's the one you can sample it right now. There's some um, like a D and B kit that's kind of nice too. Kind of depends what what you're going for. I kind of like this, so that's just going to be the sound I'm going to pick. But let's stop this. Um, I don't really like that beat as much, just for kind of what I'm going for. And I don't really have anything specific I'm going for. I'm just kind of because I'm doing this for the hell of it. I mean, I kind of like this. It's kind of cool. I hear, I hear a bass line with it. That's important, just hearing something with it. So I'm going to drag drop this in. Port tempo. And so it's going to play as the 120 tempo. I don't know if I like it at that tempo. What did it, what did it come at? Tempo. Okay, so... slower yeah I like that that's cool that's cool all right let's do a couple bars I kind of just don't like to think about how many bars I'd like just an infinite amount so I can just play with it this is just me making a simple a simple beat you know simple groove that we we chilling with you know like intro music for some sort of, uh, I don't know, you know, just kind of going off it. I don't know what it's going to sound like either. You guys heard it. I lied. So in the intro, I said that, you know, you were listening to the thing. I didn't know what that thing was going to be yet. I had to go, now I'm going to go make it. So that's what I'm doing right now. So if that makes any sense. <laughs> um, so I'm going to make it right in front of you. So let's, let's uh, listen to our drum beat. Kind of grab a nice drum beat. Be simple. I'm not a drummer, so I'm more of like an arranger. So I like to just kind of pick out a basic beat. Doesn't mean it's going to be part of it. Just going to mean it's going to kind of anchor what we're doing here. So get a nice tempo, nice beat. You got your, you got your, uh, your foundation right. That will along with the bass, and you're good. Those kicks are important too. Dun, dun. Now let's get a bass part going. We're going to open up Omnisphere. And in Omnisphere, we're going to... Omnisphere is a great tool. It's a little expensive, like a lot of these things are, so get ready. Hold on to your wallets, folks, if you're trying to get into the audio industry, but I don't think I'm telling you anything revolutionary. But, uh, yeah. All right, so I just look for cool things that I want to feel like. Which is... This sounds like something. 60s retro. That sounds cool. Alright, let's see what we got here. Alright, that's cool. I like that. The 
that sounds fun. Um, this is actually Trillion. Um, there's I have three separate versions of it. There's Keyscape, which is um, really dedicated to a lot of uh, acoustic pianos, which is really cool. Then you have Omnisphere itself, which is a synth. That's what I'm working in fully here. And then you have Trillion, which is a uh, similar to Keyscape, but it's for bass. Uh, so we're working with this uh, retro 60s bass. We have our drum track and we have our bass track. Let's listen to our drum track a little bit again. I think I got something cool that I like. Let's uh, hit record. So, pick something out of here that I played that I kind of like. Somewhere in here, this is cool. So, I kind of like that part. Alright, so that, like, couple, that little two bar phrase is cool. Sometimes you play for a while and you only get like two cool bars, you know? Sometimes that's how it plays out. But let's pick out these two. Let's move it. Uh, like sometimes I just like uh, if I want something else to pick out from, I kind of leave it there and I work with the beginning, kind of like painting. You guys may be annoyed with something that I do or don't do that you got like taught on how to do and stuff. And I'm just doing my thing, man. I'm just, you know working how I know how to work so um, all right so let's look let's listen to this this little loop here we got something cool happening here what kind of attracts me is the boom 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 so let's see if I do that again with the drums So a lot of it's really recognizing like what's cool, right? Uh, like things don't have to be perfect. They just not and cool is the wrong word, but what what's happening? Like what what works, you know? So that works too. I like that. And then there was a little phrase in here. Let me pick that out. So like I had, it's kind of like a two bar phrase sort of deal that I'm working with right now. So it's like boom, 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 boom. So that's kind of what I grabbed from here. I just grabbed two good versions of it. What I really look for is space, you know, there's got to be space, so there's space to do stuff in there, it's not crowded, it's not overdoing it, it's just kind of, oh, I actually kind of like that, it's a little sloppier, so I kind of like that better for the second time, let's try that, this thing first time, this thing second time, let's try that.
I'm gonna like that. I can dig that. Join them together. Loop it. No. And then maybe change that drum beat. So we can dive through. Kind of like different. All right. And then a lot of times what I'll do is I'll. So I felt that right, and then I'm gonna also just put in the kick drum beats because they don't. The original ones didn't really line up with the kick drum beats I have for this bass part. So let me throw in these. What I like to do here is just go through and kind of listen. Go through and kind of listen to uh, the beat I played in. It sounds, when you play it in like this, especially the kick drum I find, especially with the bass and kind of play it along, it sounds a little closer to the real thing than it does kind of the over simplification of it. But, you know, if I'm doing something for real that wants to sound like a real band, I'm going to obviously get a drummer and have him or her play because uh, it, it doesn't there's nothing that replaces a real drummer but um, a lot of these drum loops especially if you're working on something like this where this can cut it and it's not something that sounds supposed to sound overproduced but it's supposed to sound good enough musically where people accept it as oh this is you know this is good intro music it's any sort of licensing music or you know even if if you if you like this sort of sound for your own record um, who's to say that this isn't a this isn't a great drum sound that we get here and can kind of use this as your uh, way of you know backing bands if you you know if you, if you just have the ability to buy addictive drum the sample you're hearing um, they're you know they're great sounding drums so if you can work with it um, but that's basically what I'm doing here I'm, I'm playing and listening back to my plan and making sure that everything sounds up to so making sure everything kind of lines up uh, musically <laughs> Got my little groove going here. Let's let's give it a little listen. All right. Now the next thing I do is I always I always just kind of listen to what I'm hearing in my head to go along with this. What do I hear to go along with this? Now this is Will. This has been Will the Artist. Thanks for getting this far. If uh, you want to check out part two and see how I complete this, please go ahead and uh, click the video right uh, right up over here, right in this area. Um, 
course, please would love if you liked and subscribe. And if you did like it in any way, or even if you hated it, whatever, uh, just let me know how you felt about it. Because um, if you got this far, I, I really appreciate it. And um, I wanted to make it a little more palatable and break them up into like 15, 20 minute videos instead of giving you like the whole hour and a half. That's why I'm doing it by parts. So um, yeah, I mean, I covered the bass and drums for this, but next one I definitely lay down some piano and some uh, some other fun things. So this is Will. This has been Will the Artist, and I hope you have a good one. Thanks.